We were asking you about Jason Kidd's comments about Jalen, and you said it was a smart thing for him to try to do, to try to drive a wedge between you guys. Tonight, you guys came out, you combined for 19 assists, made it pretty apparent you were going to try to move the ball as much as possible. So what did you think of his attempt to try to do that, and how do you feel like you guys responded on the court? Uh, I think we sp responded really well. Uh, you know, they're not – the way their, their, their defense is set up and how much they're loading up and converging at the rim, uh, you know, it just puts us in positions to um, attack and, and find the easy kickout reads and um, just to keep, uh, you know, the ball popping and things like that so we can get good to great shots um, on each and every possession. On your right, Jake, third row. Jason, were those reads something that you went into tonight anticipating, a little bit premeditated, or did you get out there and see it and then make it a, a kind of conscious switch flip in your head that I'm going to be spraying the ball tonight? Uh, I mean, every time I take a couple of dribbles, it's like three people right there. Uh, so, you know, we got a bunch of shooters on our team and guys that can space the floor. Uh, they kept leaving Drew open. And so it wasn't like I had to do anything spectacular. Uh, it was just about finding the open guy. Dave, here on the left. Jason, Drew led you guys in scoring tonight, led you guys in rebounding tonight. You're up 2-0 in the NBA Finals. Where would you guys be as a team without him? Uh, good thing we don't have to find out. Uh, you know, we're very, very fortunate to, to have him. And, uh, you know, he was excellent tonight. Nick, you're in the front. Hey there, Jason. Nick Yelly, Field Level Media. Building off of that, um, when you guys got Drew this offseason, I heard a lot from Milwaukee fans. The one gripe about him was the defense is always there, offense is there in the regular season, tends to fade in the playoffs. Uh, did you guys expect to get this offensive production from him at this point in the season? Uh, yeah. Uh, and you guys are smart enough to know the way our team is set up. Like, we have so many talented guys. Um, on both ends of the floor that it could be a number of, of guys on a given night. Uh, you know, we, we have a really talented team. Uh, and, you know, that's how we win games. Standing in the back left. Andrew Callahan, Boston Herald. Uh, Jason, how much did you feel them adjust at, at either end tonight from game one? Yeah, uh, the way they started the game, right, uh, they, they were playing faster. Um, you know, you could tell that they wanted to shoot more threes. Um, nobody from the – neither team really shot the ball well from the three, uh, but you could tell that that was uh, part of their, their, their plan, um, just to play faster and, and, you know, shoot more threes and, and, and crash the glass a lot more as well. Any other questions? Chris, or over here. How does it affect – your mindset in knowing that you have all those weapons, you know, in, in a game like this where you're getting blitzed, you're seeing uh, guys come at you. Like, how do, you, how does it affect you knowing that you, you don't have to quote unquote be the guy? Uh, I mean, there's there's different ways, I guess, to to phrase that. You know, it's not all about scoring. Uh, you know, I can be the guy by you know rebounding and getting assists and. and and drawing attention, right? I, you know, when I have the ball uh, in certain spots, right? I, I draw so much attention. Um, it's not always, I'm not always going to be the guy to get the shot. Uh, but, you know, sometimes sacrificing, uh, being in those spots to, to, to make the play um, that we get the best shot possible, knowing that, you know, what they want to take away um, in, in their schemes and things like that. Uh, so, you know, being the guy in different ways. Maybe you don't score all the points, but um, you do all the things to, you know, put you guys in the best position to, to win. On your right, John, fourth row. John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal. Jason, what's the journey been like to get to this, this point here for you as a playmaker, right? Like a couple, couple years ago, Eme kind of challenged you to be more of a playmaker. You accepted that. You have grown into a person now that's in the NBA Finals and spotlights on you. You could very easily try to score on a matchup that you can score against, but you're doing more and more of the playmaking. How, how have you grown as a player to get to a point on this stage that you're still willing to, to make what is known as the right play? Uh, 
it's, it has a lot to do with that. You know, I've been here before and, and we didn't win. And it's just like, you know, we're so close to what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, why would I let my ego or, or feel my need to score all the points get in the way of that? Uh, you know, there are going to be times <laughs> where, you know, I need to score. And obviously, I need to shoot better. Golly. Uh, but, you know, really, we always talk about do whatever it takes for however long it takes. Um, and if I need to have 16 potential assists every single night, and that's what puts us in the best position to win, and it doesn't mean I'm the leading scorer, um, by all means, and, you know, if that gives us the best chance to win, sign me up. Gary in the middle. Yeah, Gary Washburn, Boston Globe. Jason, can you take us through, okay, the dunk? I don't know if it was blocked. You kind of missed it. Uh, then the chase down from Jalen and Derek. Like, what did you see? Were you in position to see that play? And how pivotal of a sequence was that? Uh, that was a big time play uh, for, you know, those guys to get back. Uh, I, I, I had fell on the ground. Um, so as soon as I just turned my head and looked up, I seen that they made a play at the rim. Uh, and, you know, that was big. You know, guys making winning plays at crucial times um, on both ends of the floor. Uh, last question here on the second row on the right. Hey, Jason. W one more Drew question for you. He came in here and said you guys have been a big help sort of helping him get acclimated here. He mentioned that there were times throughout the season where you or other teammates would come up to him and say, okay, this is what, you know, I think I could need from you. Is there a point in time or, or a moment that you remember with Drew that sort of, you know, everything really clicked or was that sort of just a natural, you know, chemistry between you guys throughout the season? Uh, I think from a team aspect, it's just a, it's a natural process. Um, you know, there's a lot that goes into, you know, joining a new team from, personal standpoint and then you know you've been so used to a, a different organization now you come to a new team and having to learn you know uh, personalities and, and play style and things like that and uh, you know I've had a relationship with Drew from you know a few years ago we won a gold medal uh, so you know I would just I guess check in or you know I'm always reminding my guests that you know to, to be yourself and you know we're going to need you in big moments, obviously, like tonight.